Hi and welcome back to Recipes for Disaster. Today I'll be showing you a very vegetable rich frittata that you can eat for breakfast. Why vegetables? Well most of us don't eat enough vegetables and it's an easy way to get more vegetables into your diet if you start eating them at breakfast time. The other great thing about frittata is that it's very high in protein and that can help to stabilize your blood sugar levels and give you a steady amount of energy that will keep you going until lunchtime. This is a very Mediterranean recipe where every ingredient is packed with nutritional value. We have 10 ounces of spinach, a leek, some pine nuts, a combination of parsley and cilantro, olive oil of course, pasture fed eggs, uh, pine nuts, goat cheese, and some delicious Middle Eastern spices called za'atar and Aleppo uh, chili flakes. A lot of people don't eat leeks because they're often full of, of earth from the field in which they grew and it's difficult to clean them. But leeks are incredibly healthy. And so I want to show you a really easy way of dealing with the grit that's get, that gets stuck in the leaves. All you need to do is cut off the dark green ends of the leek and then thinly slice the rest of the leek, obviously you throw away the rootlets, and then put it in a bowl of cold water and swish it around a bit to, to clean out all the grit which will sink to the bottom of the bowl. It'll take a few minutes to soften up and, and loosen and then all you do is pour it into a, into a strainer and there you are, clean ready to use leeks. So in a medium sized skillet on medium to high heat you warm up a tablespoon of olive oil and then you add the chopped leek and cook that for about two minutes. When the leeks have softened and are starting to turn golden you add about half the spinach. I, every time I cook spinach I think oh my goodness this is far too much and it's all gonna uh, go over the pan and so I've learned to put in the first half uh, and then let it wilt because it's incredible how spinach shrinks when it comes in contact with heat. Most of spinach is actually water. And so when you start cooking it, it wilts back into nothing. Do you see how it's shrunk in only about a minute? The best way to help the spinach wilt is to keep stirring it and uh, turning it so that it gets evenly exposed to heat. Now we're going to add the rest of the spinach. And we will also add the very coarsely chopped herbs. I try to put herbs in absolutely everything I cook and I always have a Ziploc bag of a cilantro and parsley sitting in my fridge because herbs are an incredibly delicious source of antioxidant, anti-inflammatory uh, compounds and even in the case of parsley and cilantro they contain uh, cancer protective compounds. Studies have shown that there is a compound in parsley and cilantro that significantly reduces the risk of breast cancer. So again, keep stirring and prodding this mixture until everything is soft and velvety. Once all the vegetables are nice and soft, we dump them into the beaten eggs to which I've added about a half teaspoon of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Uh, keep, mix them in straight away so that they get nicely combined, like so. Return the pan to medium heat, add another tablespoon of olive oil and then pour the egg and vegetable mixture into the pan. Smooth it out a little and then we add two ounces of goat's cheese, coarsely crumbled, uh, which adds a lovely tangy flavor and even more protein and healthy fat. There we go. And then we sprinkle it with about two tablespoons of pine nuts. There. And about, I don't know, a dusting, I call it, about a half a tablespoon, uh, sorry, half a teaspoon of Aleppo pepper flakes and za'atar, which is a delicious mix of thyme, sesame seeds, and sumac. This will give this dish a really delicious Middle Eastern flavor. Continue cooking this on the stove top for about a minute or two just to help set the bottom and then slide it into an oven that's been preheated to 400 Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius where you will bake it for about 15 minutes until it's set in the center. 
Once the egg at the center of the pan is set, remove from the oven and let it cool for about five or 10 minutes and then transfer to a plate if you like. I'll just show you a little cross section. This is one serving. It contains the equivalent of two eggs, lots of vegetables, healthy fats, and high fiber carbohydrates. So this is actually an incredibly nourishing dish for the, the start of a day. You can eat this warm with maybe half a slice of pita bread, or even you can make a sandwich out of it with good quality bread. You can also keep this in the fridge, bring it to lunch in your lunchbox, and, uh, and eat it the next day. So this is actually a fantastic dish to make ahead. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like the recipe, please go to my website, recipesfordisaster.com. The link is in the description below.